3 a.m. Saturday escalation of diplomatic crisis with China via Twitter with a misspelling, end quote. Shouldn't the left be more concerned about China's actions? Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate, Matt Schlapp, the chairman of the American Conservative Union, and Chuck Rocha, fellow at the Center for National Policy and the president of Solidarity Strategies. Nice to see both of you. Chuck, I, reading your notes this morning, you seem just as angry as Chris Murphy about this tweet, about this, uh, about this tweet, this misspelled tweet yesterday. Why? Well, I think I'm more upset about the use of the president and president elect and his Twitter account. I could care less about him misspelling a word, but I think that there's diplomatic things going on there that are much bigger than I will ever understand. And I'm like, at a time when everybody's watching, it's like when my papa bought me my first shotgun. He's like, now be careful. This is not a BB gun. You can now kill somebody. I'm just saying a little more caution. I know he's bang, bang, bang. I know that's why he got elected, but now it's real time. Now he's going to be the president. That was my only concern with this whole thing. So, Matt, we've we, we got to watch out because President-elect could get us all killed with his Twitter account. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think uh, the only thing that's going to get killed is uh, some of the mainstream media likes the president to always go through them uh, with their messaging. And I think the one thing that Donald Trump has been able to do, and Dick Cheney, you know, put his finger right on it, which is, uh, Donald Trump is working around the New York Times and around the Washington Post and talking to real Americans, and I think it's fantastic. Chuck, d Chuck, shouldn't, the, shouldn't we be more concerned about what China is doing to us than these Twitter accounts? Here was Trump yesterday. He spelled this out. He said we should tell China that we don't want the drone they stole back. Let them keep it. But he's also saying we need to be tough with China. Isn't that the kind of thing we want out of a president? Yeah, I think that being tough is fine. I think making sure that, that America, that the USA is at the forefront of everything that goes on around the world and not being the, Amer not being the world's policeman, but making sure that we're there in a very, very respected way. I think we're really raw and I think the left is really raw because they just lost the election where they got 2.5 more votes than the Republicans. And so there's a lot of people who are just going to continue to throw visceral and throw madness. But I think the country needs to come together now. We need to make sure that America is right out in the front and watching and making sure Everything's going to be merry. What should our presidents do, Matt? Do we want a president to be strong with China? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And I actually think this is a unifier for the country. This is an early test for President-elect Trump. He's not yet taken the oath of office, obviously. But this, uh, this problem uh, is going to linger into the beginning part of his presidency. President Bush had a similar type of challenge. And the dictators all over the world and the authoritarians and the communist leaders will watch how he handles this. And I think as he projects strength, it's a lesson to everybody around the globe that the Obama era truly is coming to an end and America will stand up for its interests and it's about time. I better watch out for my misspellings. I know, Chuck, you'll be all over it. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Yeah. Good to see both of you this morning. Merry Christmas, Matt. Hey, Chuck, Merry Christmas.